I knew that I wanted to create a body of work that dealt with photography's transition from analog to digital. I had spent five years working as a custom black and white printer. I found that I had a physical attachment to my own developer tray. I started photographing this tray, a standard 16 by 20 inch tray. Its colors, its scratches, its stains, its silver deposits were all a direct result of what I had processed in it, how often I had cleaned it, what chemicals I used. I saw it as some sort of fingerprint of my photographic process. Starting in February of 2010, I began contacting all of these photographers and started a sort of photographic scavenger hunt. I wasn't sure how I would be received when I started to contact these photographers or their estates or their surviving family members, but I quickly found out that most photographers that I contacted would be willing to participate. I discovered that it wasn't quite a question of whether or not I would be able to photograph their developer trays, but instead it was whether or not their developer trays still existed. The developer tray isn't necessarily an important part of someone's darkroom. Usually for major archives, they'll always be sure to keep the cameras, maybe the enlarger, but a simple plastic or stainless steel tray can often be overlooked and thrown out. Usually when I would visit a photographer's studio or their home, I would set up and shoot their tray, and then afterwards we'd talk about how they feel about the current state of analog black and white photography and if they're even still printing in the darkroom. We would also talk about their tray, how long it's been used, and what has gone through it. I believe that each tray tells its own story. One can imagine all of the images that have been processed through this tray, and the artist's hand rocking the tray as their image is appearing before them for the first time.